Welcome back on this Friday. We are, are continuing Proverbs chapter 4. Let's begin with verse 10. Hear my son and accept my words, that the years of your life may be many. I have taught you the way of wisdom. I have led you in paths of uprightness. When you walk, your step will not be hampered. And if you run, you will not stumble. Keep hold of instruction. Do not let go. Guard her, for she is your life. Again, you can tell a new section is starting because he's saying, Hear my son, accept my words. Addressing his son, asking his son to listen, to accept them, to take those words, this wisdom that will guide his son's steps, to hold tight to them and not let them go. Uh, this wisdom, for she is your life. The importance of wisdom is it is our very lives. Let's go. Verses seven, uh, 14 through 17. Do not enter the path of the wicked and do not walk in the way of evil. Avoid it. Do not go on it. Turn away from it and pass on. For they cannot sleep unless they have done wrong. They are robbed of sleep unless they have made someone stumble. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. Warning, do not go down the path of evil. Do not go down the path of the evil one. Avoid it at all cost. Uh, notice what it says, do not walk in the way of evil, avoid it, do not go on to it, turn away, pass on, keep on walking, don't turn to look. You see, the, what he is saying here is don't go down those paths, don't even start to go down. Those paths start small and simple, maybe they're little lies or or stealing uh, one little candy bar or something like that. Uh, and then it just seems to grow. Or maybe it starts as, as just one, uh, one time of getting high or, or looking at pornography just one time. But the problem is these start small and they continue to grow and grow and, and lead you down paths of destruction. Notice what it says, that they cannot sleep unless they have done wrong. Um, that they, the evil ones, can't help themselves. They need it. They are really addicted to evil. They eat the bread of wickedness. Their lives are devoted to it. Avoid that path. Don't go down that path. And he gives, for, in verses uh 18 and 19, a great summary contrast here, right? But the path of the righteous is like the light of dawn, which is which shines brighter and brighter until full day. The way of the wicked is like deep darkness. They do not know over what they stumble. Isn't that an amazing contrast of, of the righteous and the evil? Righteous being the one who trusts in the Lord, who follows in the ways of the wisdom of the Lord. The righteousness under, we, we know does not come from us. We are righteous because of Christ. But in this situation, he's calling the one righteous of the one who is following the Lord's will. All right. The one who follows the Lord's will walks in the light. Now, we walk in, we walk according to God's will because of the faith that we have been given. We walk in the light as he is in the light, as John writes in his epistle. The way of the wicked is like deep darkness. Great parallel to John's gospel and John's epistles where he talks about the light of, is being in Christ. Darkness is being in sin and in evil and, and the writer of Proverbs, King Solomon, agrees fully. Walk in the light of Christ, in his wisdom, and not in the ways of the world. May God grant this to you and to me as we live and walk in righteousness. God bless.